Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. As you know, I'm currently traveling around Southeast Asia for four months and I'm currently in Chiang Mai in Thailand. This is our second destination after Bangkok and I just wanted to show you some of the realities and the struggles of living so far away from home. Definitely a like this video if you enjoy it, subscribe if you're new and we'll dive straight into the video. Excuse the setup, I'm currently in bed. I'm currently in bed. It's currently 8.18 a.m. Um, I've been up since like seven ish and yeah it's currently 27 degrees outside um angelo has been out on a run well he's out running he's just almost back now i think but yeah i just thought i would start this video because i didn't want to film yesterday at all just because i had a really tough evening like emotionally and mentally i cried a lot i had to cry everything out i feel like i'm gonna start crying now um is this homesickness i don't know angela and i were talking about this yesterday and i was adamant that i wasn't homesick but yeah we went on a run i just didn't have a great run um sorry this setup is so weird i know i'm literally in bed i felt so tired at the start of the run but then my legs felt better towards the end but like because it had started badly i was just being so hard on myself i think it's a combination of my hormones um i think i'm coming on my period maybe it's homesickness um and i'm just in denial i think i'm maybe just a bit tired so this morning that's why i decided not to run but yeah i've just been working doing some editing instead and yeah i thought i would show you guys the kind of realities of being abroad this is your reminder that it's okay to cry and be upset sometimes um but yeah the one thing i'm really kind of intrigued by is that i don't have any gel in my hair i know it's kind of frizzy right now but like i haven't put any gel in since i've arrived and it's not like super frizzy without gel it kind of also looks like it wants to kind of curl um naturally which is madness. This is my setup. I've just been editing. I feel like I just heard the door knock, but I think I'm imagining things. This place is a really big, not studio, it's like a one bedroom apartment. So it's really cool. And yeah, I did so much work and filming yesterday. So I felt really productive. The evening just went downhill very quickly. <laughs> Chiang Mai was probably my favourite location when I visited Thailand with my brother last year but we're currently staying in a different place in the city and because we're here for quite a bit of time we really want to get to know the area and I mean the heat, the rain and the weather in general is also something we're still getting used to. We are currently walking into the old town and literally our accommodation is on like this highway Oh, there's cars like everywhere. Hello, is this car gonna let me go? Yeah. We ran down here because we ran around the square the other day, um, but we haven't yet walked into the old town. It's so much hotter than last year in like March, April. It's currently like 35 degrees. Do you want yeah, to repeat that for oh me? Oh my god, it's effect? so hot. I think the highs are 38 today. 38. So I have a bucket hat on, I have my sunglasses on, but I literally haven't been able to walk outside without feeling like a headache recently. I'm just sweating so much. Yes, yeah, same. Oh, the Highlander Runner Shop. Huh? The Highlander Runner Shop. Oh, running shop. Should we check out? Just a little detour. Please be aircon. Oh, oh my god. It's actually aircon. We're basically looking for running gels because we're going to run out soon. They do. They have the goo ones. Mmm. This is quite good. Not a bad selection. This is Coca-Cola flavored. That would probably taste so good. Mm -hmm. We also need more electrolyte tablets, but these are quite expensive. We basically at the moment have been going through one six liter bottle of water a day, right? Yeah. And they're like, they're really cheap, but I don't know if we should be drinking more because we're like sweating so much when we're out and then we're running. TMI, um, my piss is yellow as hell. Yeah, same. Every time it just looks like I'm dehydrated. I think we're just trying to get in as much liquid as possible, whether it's like juice or electrolyte tablets, water, milk, 
anything. Well, to be fair, like the juice is quite small that you get in these. Yeah, yeah. you don't get like, you that get much little juice. baby carton juices. And it's all plastic. Like there is so much plastic, oh, which is really kind is of annoying. Insane. But anyway, we're in the square now, which is good, and we're going to a place called uh, Vegan Meals or something. Hmm, I wonder if you do any vegan food. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The name is so funny. There's loads of vegan places in Chiang Mai, so. Tons. I think tons. we'll be spoiled for choice, but yeah, I'm. I also need to get a cone hat. Oh, yeah, we're looking for a cone hat for you because I have a bucket hat, wide rimmed hat, <laughs> um, and the sunglasses to protect myself from the sun. But yeah, yeah, my eyes have also been feeling very heavy. I don't know if it's a combination of me working a lot on screens and going outside in the sun, which is probably the case. I shall show you what we get for the food because I am starving. Me too. Me too. Oh, elephant I have to show you something that. Uh, Rings a bell. Look at this. This is um, Zoe, the club that Matthew and I ended up in like last year in Chiang Mai. I had no idea it looked like this in daytime. Oh yeah, I'm dying. I'm dying as well. Okay, we need to now walk. Um, anyway, yeah, Matthew and I had a great time last year in that uh, club. <laughs> great night. Did you? Ended very well. <laughs> no, it really didn't. What was your favorite moment of that night? Pardon? What was your favourite moment of that night? With, that uh, night? Um, it was Matthew and I walking back and Matthew was just completely out of it. Do you want to hit up Zoe's? I oh, don't. But yeah, let's do it. Does it look good? <laughs> yeah, it looks alright though. Let's looks alright? I've gone for the quinoa bowl and you've gone for the tempeh vegan bowl. Are you happy with that? Yeah, of course. I'm very excited. In and we got... non air conditioned place. It's non air conditioned but we have a fan. There's a cute cat, you guys. And we also got smoothies as well. I'm trying this matcha one, and then you're getting the watermelon, lime, mint, and strawberry. So Chiang Mai is apparently one of the most vegan-friendly cities in the world. And I mean, I don't know how true that is, but it's definitely up there for me in Thailand. And this meal was also so good because it just reminded me of home, which is something I often look for when I'm feeling a bit homesick. This room, you come in here, and it's so cold. The difference in temperature in this room is crazy. This aircon is blasting in here and out there we only have a fan, so it's like a big temperature difference. Um, anyway, we're currently doing washing. We got back, I was supposed to do two tutoring sessions, but only um, one actually occurred because um, the first student didn't turn up, but it meant we could get mango. So that was great um, and some other fruit. But basically I just thought I would, you know, share with you guys a bit about my napping experience in thailand so far as you guys know i don't nap at home like i've never been someone to nap at all but for the past like few days i've been napping like quite a lot like in bangkok for example like on the last day i was just so tired i napped so much and then yesterday yeah yesterday i fell asleep after my tutoring sessions i was just so tired i was honestly just knackered like i couldn't keep my eyes open they felt so heavy and i just literally fell asleep for like two three hours or something so i feel like it's maybe a bit of like heat stroke or something um because the sun and direct sunlight and heat does make you feel quite tired i've been able to sleep as well like really well during the night that was my biggest concern and with napping in general, I just don't want to like wreck my sleep schedule because I've been sleeping during the day. But you know, I've been napping and um, waking up, then going to bed. Yeah, napping in Thailand has been something I didn't see coming, but like I've been working a lot on my screens as well. So the thought of just staring at a screen again just did not sound appealing to me and sleeping was just a better option. So I did that yesterday and yeah i also phoned home because it was em's birthday yesterday she turned 28 and i knew i was gonna miss it so i did get her something before i left and i gave it to her um don't know what the banging is are you all right yeah i'm cheating i'm dying that <laughs> it's so disgusting homesickness i think not yesterday the evening before yesterday evening if that makes sense Everything was just guessing. <laughs> oh my god, I can't take this seriously. I'm trying to have a serious conversation here. As I said the other morning, like I was homesick, I felt tired, I didn't feel great about running, um, the heat was getting to me. So the homesickness has been very temporary and transient. Like I feel okay now, you know, sometimes I 
think about home or I think about things at home and I'm like, oh, I wish I was back. But then I'm like, I've wanted to do this for such a long time. And if I was back in the UK, I'd want to be here. So it's nothing like it used to be in the past. Like I got so homesick at uni, as you guys know, and then going to Australia. But like, I feel so good. And it was just yesterday and the day before, which were a bit tough. But other than that, I feel great. And I now have apparently a nice, new freshly cleaned laptop thank you oh thank you it looks so good yeah, i could almost not see your screen last time i know it was so disgusting oh, hello where are we going after this vegan muscle boys we're going to the gym are you feeling homesick i was talking about homesickness yeah a little bit i miss my mom isn't it mm. but mm, I, I remind myself that this is what i wanted to do yeah, that's what I just said, because you told me that yesterday. Yeah, did it help? Yeah, it did. Yeah. I knew exactly what you meant when you said if we were at home right now, we'd be wanting to be yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. We exactly. got each other. Exactly. It's not working. Is it not working? No. I don't know what you can do. Is it really not working? No. Then, uh... Turn off and try again. I think I'm going to start busting it up. <laughs> Why is there dust on it? Did you kill my laptop? My laptop's really dead. It really is struggling in this heat. <laughs> <laughs> the vegan farts. Woo! Oh. So this is the desk where I've been working. And there's ants like running all at the back of it. They're like tiny ants and they were like all over my screen when I was tutoring and drawing on the whiteboard, which was really annoying. So we seem to have an infestation of ants. Which is phenomenal. Yeah, it's great news. I don't know why they're in here. What we can do about it, I have no idea, but there's tons of them. And they're like all over the countertops as well. So it's kind of annoying. And there's bed bugs. Well, we think there might be bed bugs. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not being bitten in the That's night. Being not allergic to them. But you're being bitten by bed bugs. I always get bitten. Or bugs of some sort. We also upgraded, by the way. We were gonna have like the standard room but then that didn't have like a hob so we upgraded to a one bed apartment for like 250 baht a night which is actually pretty reasonable but it still doesn't look quite as good as the pictures on booking.com like booking.com made it look really really good it's still pretty good but it's just like you know not exactly what we thought right yeah i mean yeah true true so we didn't end up going to the gym we just decided that we would do our washing instead and we also need to try out the swimming pool which is in our apartment vlog so you'll probably see that in a vlog your first time trying mango sticky rice yep. i'm gonna try to test the mango first test the mango it's gonna be good standard practice so good right okay you now have to try the rice with the like coconut thing what do you mean so get some of the rice with the coconut stuff that they put over the top. Yeah, there you go. Wait, that's coconut? Yeah, they put like a coconut thing over it. It's so it good. Yellow? Oh, I don't know what this yellow stuff is. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Oh my God. Sensational. Really? Like the, the coconut and then there's like some saltiness. Yeah, I know, right? It's so beautiful. We got it from a stall over there for like 50 baht. This is a night market near us. 50 baht. That's really cheap. That's really good. One pound 17. 17? One pound 17. <laughs> wow. Mm. You got one there. Mm. Oh my god, the thing's on the top. It's so good! It's really fun being able to have a mix of trying new food, getting food out, and then just cooking our own meals as we have a kitchen. And I'll also give you guys a full tour of our apartment in the next video. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that because I'll show you guys around. for like two hours by oh. this point <laughs> we've been running oh. <laughs> we're honestly dying but um the aim is to get to 35 ew there's a bug on me ew ew get away bug we um, saw a snake too yeah we've seen a snake other bugs and stuff 
but we're at like yeah 21k and we're aiming for 35 Ew. we've just gone to 7-eleven to get my water filled up and stuff got some juice we have one more gel left to have at like 25k and then it's the final 10k and then a lot of food yeah oh my god madness we woke up at 5 30. I was out well, bed at 5.30. I was moaning let's make a lot. It clear. <laughs> I woke up at 5. Holly did not. I woke up at 5.30. I was just so like in my feels in bed. But then we woke up, had like some muesli, um, a coffee, which really helps you know get the digestion system going. That was my going. idea. Holly was yeah, about to run out. Yeah, it actually really works. Like it just speeds up the process of me going to the toilet so I can actually go to the toilet before I run, which makes it so much better. Um, anyway. Back to running! I don't have gel in my hair again. Um, I've just put some different earrings in. Angela's just gone to 7-Eleven to get um, some snacks and stuff. But, oh my god, that run was... It was like a good run, but it just gets like exponentially harder as it gets hotter and your legs get tired. And for me, like the soles of my feet, they're honestly like killing me. But, oh my god, we got to... Well, I got to just under 28k. Um... As I said, we were aiming for 35, but like I kind of knew deep down that that wasn't really going to happen just because it's so, so tough. Literally, I was screaming in the shower though because, oh my gosh, um, where can I put you guys? Basically, I don't normally chafe when I'm running in the UK, but oh my gosh, I have such bad chafing um, because I'm like sweating and things are rubbing. This is the first chafe mark um, from my heart rate monitor, which I put under my sports bra. And then obviously the sports bra is moving because I'm sweating a lot. That's why I'm chafing when I don't normally chafe in the UK, because in the UK, do I really sweat? No, I don't. That's just me personally. Um, and then down the side of my leg, let me put you guys down a bit. And then I'm basically chafing here because I put like my phone in the side pocket of my shorts and then it's obviously rubbing. Sorry, I'm in the bathroom now. I'm moving everywhere, apparently. I literally couldn't even shower. Like the water touching those parts was stinging so, so badly. Like, I was literally shrieking, you guys. This though is what I'm going to put on. The anti-chafe gel. Where's the anti chafe This is what we brought with us. It's Angelo's. As I said, I don't normally use this, but it has aloe vera in it. So I'm just going to apply it to those areas. It's going to sting like crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try applying it. And I think I am going to be putting it on for the next few runs, like before I go out to try and stop it chafing. But yeah, running is hard. Um, obviously, I knew it was going to be hard, but like, you know, nothing in life is supposed to be super easy. And I am very determined when it comes to running like a lot of the things i do and i really want to put my mind to it like i'm not gonna stop and give up easily it takes a lot it feels so good to like accomplish stuff that you know initially seems really difficult like this morning i woke up and i was like i really don't want to do this but um i did so i'm really happy this is gonna be painful go up now Oh. I was honestly in so much pain you guys and I really hope it calms down I mean if any of you guys have experienced something similar and you use something that's really good like I don't know just pure aloe vera gel then definitely leave that down below in the comment section but basically later on the afternoon we went back to the same vegan spot that we'd found it's safe to say this will definitely be a staple place where we get food Back in Maya. This Maya. is what it's called. Maya! Um, and we're going back to MJ to basically pay our friend and also get food there again because it's so cheap and it's so good. We also looked around the whole of this shopping centre trying to find it. It's basically in the basement and it's like one of the stalls in the middle. So it's kind of hard to find. But once you do find it, it's good. Oh, it's um, amazing. It's such a good place. I can't wait to eat it. I know. Thai food and fully vegan, which is so good. We got a for. grab here, by the way, because it's like peak sunshine. Plus and um, yeah, it was very cheap. How much? Two seventeen. Two pounds seventeen. Very good. It's like towards the end over here. If you just walk straight through the basement. Ooh, mangoes. I just get distracted by mangoes all the time. This is MJ. 
We are back for more. This is all of our food, but that's rice with three sides, brown rice underneath. Mm. And then you've got some other sides, like these sausage things. Is this a tofu thing? No. Tofu and then mushroom balls. You also got the burger like last time. I got well, the sweet- potatoes are so good. Is it? Amazing. Amazing. It's so good. And then I got sweet potatoes and then rice with two sides and then sausage and mushroom balls. Mmm. So that is where I'm gonna end this vlog. The next video on my channel will be the full packing video, which I didn't film at home. I'm gonna show you guys everything I have brought with me for these four months in Southeast Asia. Make sure you guys are checking out my short videos alongside the longer ones. Subscribe if you are new and you want to stick around. And as always, I'll speak to you very soon in another video. I don't even have any gel in my hair. This is kind of mad. I'm getting this one. Excuse me. I really just wanna sit down. <laughs> this room is freezing. It's just boiling. Oh, it smells nice in here. It smells like shoes. Dying. I'm dying too. <laughs> Someone give me ice cream or something. <laughs> right. I, um, I really wish I could just like swim in a pool of. Uh, help me out. My hair is frozen like crazy and my stomach is moaning like. Does it smell good? It kind of smells like you. You know, sweat. Hey. Bigger meals. I want bigger meals right now. Bigger males than most of them are right now.